Hey guys, how's it going? Ricky Woodmer here along with the Mark Weber here to give you our NFL Pick'ems video for week 10 of the NFL season. Let's get right into it, Mark. We got mm -hmm. the Thursday nighter this week. The Bills and the Jets. Who you got? It's a tough matchup. It is. It really is. Uh, but I got to go with Fitz Magic out there. I thought you were going to go with the tie. I really thought you were going to go with the tie. I kind of want to go with the tie <laughs> because I don't really have much leaning me one way or the other with these teams. But I'm going to go with the Jets. Yeah, I can't just like the I want to pick Rex Ryan and the Bills, but I mean Todd Bolt, can we just give Todd Bolt some credit with what he's been able to do with this Jet team? I mean, coming they've been over doing from really Arizona. Well. I mean, when at the beginning of the season I thought Geno Smith would be their Main well, quarterback. We, and that's a blessing in disguise. That's, that's why I was like, it's not, not even good, in disguise. Actually. That's why I'm like, not a good season for the Jets. But Fitzmagic has kind of reinvented himself in New York. Mm -hmm. Should get a win at home against the Bills. How about the Chiefs and the Broncos? This was an interesting one week too because the Broncos won on a Jamal Charles fumble. Yeah, that game was going to overtime and he fumbled in the last seconds. Do the Chiefs get revenge here? I do think this trap game potential. With that being said, I'm gonna go with the Broncos. I mean, I, I think they're just a much better team than the Chiefs. Well, if Charles was playing this game, I'm giving it to the Chiefs only because Talib's not playing for the Broncos in this one because he was stupid he made mm -hmm. a stupid move in that Colts game. But now they're gonna lose every game. I gotta go with the Broncos though, only because I mean Alex Smith and Jeremy Macklin don't have good games in this. They don't have a run game that they can. West isn't going to be anything Charles could be. Broncos with the win. How about Brown Steelers? You think I'm going to pick the Browns? No. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with the Steelers. I'm picking the Browns. The reason why I'm picking the Browns is this game is usually the close one. And I'm going to put the upset on this one. Browns with the W. No, nah, Steelers. McCown is their quarterback. Steelers got to play hard to keep their spot in the playoffs. Without We're big not ben? there yet. No big we're close. They got to keep it. How, they got to keep it up. How much do they lean on uh, D'Angelo Williams? Uh, a ton? Can we say all of it? <laughs> you know, Antonio Brown, mm -hmm. he had a great week last week, but we're going we're gonna to worry about this run game back here. Yeah. We're just going to worry about that. And then we've got the Patriots and the Giants, Super Bowl 50. Preview to happen. Yep, exactly. Super Bowl Fifty preview. Undefeated and that's Patriots. That's why the Patriots have to win because <laughs> they have to remain undefeated, and then the Giants can come and take it away at the end. I'm I'm gonna set the storyline here. It's gonna be a close game. Bless you, Mark. Thank you. It's gonna be a close game. Patriots are gonna win by a field goal. Mm -hmm. They're gonna go undefeated. Giants gonna beat them in the Super Bowl. I know that just goes against everything that I said in our podcast this week, but that's what's gotta happen. Of course. It's got to happen in this one. Of course. Patriots have to win it. Now we've got Card Seahawks, the NFC West showdown. I'm going with the Cardinals in this one. Mm -hmm. I think the Seahawks are not what they – they ain't what they used to be. They ain't what they used to be. Ain't what they used to be. Cardinals with the win. And this one makes me a little nervous because I got Larry Fitzgerald on the fantasy <laughs> team. Uh, and, you know, Richard Sherman's a beast. It's okay. I got Michael Floyd. That's true. Uh, not I, going up against Sherman, though. No. <laughs> it's a very different situation. I, I think that, you know, the Seahawks, I think, are going to start bouncing their way back into maybe getting a wild card spot. I just don't think Russell Wilson's the same Russell Wilson. <laughs> well, I don't think Russell Wilson was ever the guy you can 100% rely on. And Jimmy Graham is not better than a center. No, 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 definitely not. So Cardinals. I, I'm going with, not to going to do that, though. <laughs> I do think the Seahawks are going to pull this one out. Because they got to turn mm -hmm. it around. They got to start winning some games to get into the playoffs. I still think they're a playoff team. They can get there. Now, I don't think they're a Super Bowl team anymore, but I think they're still a playoff team. And I think this is where they kind of start to steal some of these away. So Maybe even is, try and steal the division from the so Cardinals. So this is the game that starts their kind of run for the playoffs? Is that what you're saying? I, I think we're about there, yeah. Well, this is where you guys come in. Tell us down below out of the picks you saw today. What do you got? What other games are you looking for? Who's right on that Cardinal Seahawks game? Is Mark right? Are the Seahawks going to make a run to the playoffs starting this week against the Cardinals? I want to thank you guys for checking out this video. You can follow me on Twitter at Ricky Widmer. Mark's at the Mark Weber with two E's. Most valuable podcast is at Most Valuable Pod. Hit that like button, that sub button. But as always, have a good day, everybody.